This bread loaf has a delicate soft texture, soft crumb, and a delicious flavor. Keep watching ahead because this recipe is one recipe you wouldn't want to miss out. hello everybody how is it going it's your girl claudie and welcome back to my kitchen cooking with claudie happy new year once more on today's episode i will be showing you how to make this perfect light soft and fluffy sandwich bread in cameroon we call this kumba bread why nigerians call this a gege bread but it all bounds down to sandwich bread if you're new here a special welcome to you please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out on any recent uploads so to start off with our ingredients we have some milk i will be using evaporated milk egg salt all-purpose flour yeast sugar butter and for this little flour over there, you might or might not use it or you might use it for kneading the dough. So let us mix all the ingredients together. The milk here is supposed to look warm so that the yeast can easily proof. I'm going to knead my dough with this mixer until it is perfectly combined. So that was for about 10 minutes at about the fifth level on high. So right now, the next thing I'm going to put in the butter. The butter here is softened at room temperature. In this recipe, you don't need melted butter. This is when you add the butter. You add the butter in this stage. And please, at this moment, do not be tempted to add like more flour thinking that your dough is soft even if your dough is soft and sticky that's what makes the bread to be light and fluffy but if you don't have a mixer you can mix it manually that's when you are going to be needing that other little flour in there so that it will help you to knead the dough and to avoid the dough from sticking to the surface It's a little bit sticky and stretchy. You always want your dough to be a little bit sticky. That's what makes your bread very, very fluffy and light. So now, um, just put it inside the bowl and let it rise. So let it rest for one hour and after one hour this is how it's gonna look like i will be like spreading out my dough so that it takes the shape of my baking pan i always use this baking mat that's to measure um my baking pan and to know the appropriate way on which I will be spreading the dough so that it just fits inside my baking pan.
and you can see right here i did a perfect measurement that's why i always use my baking mat to know the accurate measurement for my dough to fit in the pan so let it rest again for about 40 minutes and after 40 minutes this is how it's gonna look it's almost half of my baking pan and it's looking so so beautiful it's gonna i'm just gonna close it right now and let it go to the oven and let us bake our beautiful kumba bread guys this bread is so so good soft and fluffy so let it bake for 380 degrees fahrenheit for 40 to 50 minutes and after the time we have our beautiful looking agigi bread sandwich bread cameroonian kumba bread guys growing up in cameroon we always enjoy this bread it was so soft fluffy light it just melts in your mouth and it has a savory flavor so delicious look at that you can definitely make your own kumba bread at home and enjoy at your own convenience and the ingredients here you will definitely have these ingredients in your pantry so why don't you go for it so let the bread get cold before we start to cut it or slice it off and this is how it's gonna be when you slice it it's looking so so beautiful look at that guys you can save money or if you are not in cameroon you can enjoy this like kumba bread no need me no need for you missing home where you can make it at your own convenience so guys thank you so much for watching as usual check the description box it's going to carry the detailed recipe until we meet again in my next video bye for now and keep trusting my recipes and please stay safe